Jack Pause video, so welcome to Nature Vlog number 70. So I'm just sitting there clearing away some vlogs, getting everything sorted. It's 37 minutes past 5, I've been up since like 4. Bad. Because I don't know, I think I went to sleep around 10, so I'm not going to complain So I've got like, what, 6 hours? I think I went to sleep around 10, I can't genuinely remember, I can't. There we go. Oh, I'm not feeling that great, to be honest. <coughs> Bottom of I keep coughing, I'm not feeling 100%. Um. Gonna be opening up anything on the advent calendar we did that earlier. Um I was wondering I think the last vlog since the nature vlogs cross days and it was this build here. There's like, like a little build fold, the sonic blaster and the regular blaster. So it's another Junosian's grab a blaster. So of course um, in this vlog though, later on you will get to see the opening of number 17. <coughs> right, I'm gonna quickly go to the toilet. Come right back, we're gonna make the bed and we're gonna do some chatting or just anything that in general I'd say I wanna do. So I got, you know, I don't have to wait for, for, for like an hour and a half or so, so, you know, we're going to that way. So I'll see you guys um, in a second. So, despite feeling like ill, I do feel well rested, I just feel sick. And I'm hoping that that does not persist throughout the night, you know, at the chef's, hopefully I can get through it, I've got this one and then another one, so this is part 70 and then you'll get part 71. I still can't believe what these parts are being done, so you're getting 73 parts. They're um, basically the final one of these, right, for 2023 anyway, because I wasn't, if they bring this, they, this somehow ends up on again, I'd be very dis surprised, because we always knew that Night Shift would, See, um, I thought initially Night Shift was only going to run two weeks, then we got told it would run till the stock take, which was July 1st. Then, we got told it could run um, until Christmas. Then, of course, it ended in early November due to just issues and budgeting. And then, we always knew, like, regardless of it stayed on, it would get cancelled after Christmas, because the store never has the funding to fund anything like extra hours and shit after Christmas. And the majority of people who are on night shift are using borrowed hours. Like, I think out of all people on night shift, myself and the manager are the easiest ones to put on because he's a 30 hour contract and I'm a 25. But the other two guys on night shift are, you know, 16s. You know, 16 hour contracts, so less than uh, ideal. So I'm quick going to fuck you guys up. I'm going to the camera and roll. One thing I will say is a four hour shift, which is most of what my shifts were like, even when I was on a 16 hour contract, all my shifts were like four hours long. I wouldn't make one of those during my like sick. So shit, but I won't imagine if you were on a half an hour, you know, on a 10 hour shift, you know what I mean? 
Dora, we're going shopping, not that expensive blue. Mm -hmm. No, no. Well, you know what you get, you ain't got that expensive blue. So you may remember right that a couple of months ago I told her on the pond and this came up two years ago. Not yet, but now this year she's gonna actually have it. Because when I did the coronary video back in May, I was at 146 and I said I wanted 250 by May of 24. I went from 146 to one to 227, so I've had 81 contracts. Am I sit with the kids, Wobble? What? Am I sit with the kids at all? No. Alright. Uh, I thought you were going out somewhere. since me, I'm not complaining. So within seven months that's good because I'll be my other things. You know, between the four things like the India, you know, I already have those. So I'm just gonna be buying Indiana Jones and Mega Strike because I've been buying what else have I bought since me. I bought my AT AT but most of the shit I have bought is coins. I thought I bought more mini figures this year than I did though like I'm always end up getting I'm always getting up with more mini figures right than I do sets but this year it's like I went all my on getting tracks with mini figures that you know, wanting my collection yet, or ones that I was wanting. So, look at that. But one thing I've always wondered, and I've wondered it after seeing a video from this guy, I was like, I want to know how big my Imperial army is. You know, I know it's not anywhere near the size. I don't even think there's a hundred figures to it, but it's something I've, I've, I've thought about a few times, you know. Going, hey, I'll try to build this up, you know, I'll see if I can. How big my Imperial army is. So, I'll try to test that, so. One second. Put it right there. But yeah, I'm including that in this box. And you remove the camera with it. So I can look at the sleeve. But they fight. Like right, the bulk of my army consists of snow troopers. The night shift will get what we're doing. We're doing with echoes. Right. We're not going to be as intricate as we were with the comb ones, so we don't need to be, so it's like... Empty this out. Let's get all the Imperial figures separated. So as we've got out the new hope, we'll keep in mind it's like a majority of my Imperial figures are on the shelves. Empire Strikes back. I have a lot of snow troopers on the shelf, and then there's a whole bunch of them that are in here, it's like... <coughs> I have a lot of snow troopers. And like I said, I think that's what the bulk of my army out for the Empire is this, the snow troopers. Um, right, I'm going to quickly separate these out. Take you. I'm going to flip this one. It'll take me a couple of seconds. As for Vader's and Palpatine's, I'm literally going to use the Vader and Palpatine that are on my shelf. I do like the 2008 versions because they're cooler. <laughs> ah, constant sneezing, honestly. Um, not having fun with this whatsoever, but you know, why would being sick be fun? It's a silly question. Right, I'm going to cut the short for this. Right, so that's how many figures we got. Um, for that. I've got people making offers on that vintage, but I'm just going to piss like asking me to split things. He's going to start splitting things in it, you fucking ass around. It's like, someone made an offer, which I'm going to look into the postage for sending some of it, because that would not be a bad idea to try and post some of it. Why are you on the floor, 2005 Revenge of the Sith Anakin? You don't belong there, you belong up here. Right, we need to get the Imperial stuff from the shelf, which is, you know, like the Vader, the pilots, all that sort of thing, when you gather all of that. Oh, fuck it. Well, that's a bit of length since we don't, we don't get it, mate. We have vlogs for a very long time, so screw it. Just 
This is a figure I want more of. I'm only about 60s, but it's the 2008 style Stormtroopers. Plus, when I do get the Cloud City, I want to fill it full of these. You know, for, those, some, for certain scenes. I like those ones specifically for that. Obviously, I'm not taking off the ear poles. But I, I already know for a fact this one will be smaller than my clone army. I think the smallest army I have is either the Battle Droids or the Rebels, but if I had to put money on it, I'm going to guess the Rebel one is my smallest. Right. Looking at the shelf, just double checking. I believe that's all the Empire. Okay, there's not quite a bit of it on here. Like, I am confident the, the Imperial figures that I have the most of is Snow Troopers because I've gotten loads of them over the years. Just in bundles and in sets, not to mention, I did buy two of the battle packs, there's like eight of them there. Mm -hmm. There's some back there. So whether or not I put these figures back on the shelf, I still look really weird, because literally within the space of, what, two weeks, I should. The shelf all changed anyway, just checking, nothing there, nothing hiding, right, we have got the top shelf, but there's not very much up here, so it's sorted. I think it consists of, what, a couple of figures, right, so... Look, no, wait, we don't need to win Palpatine. And these two Royal Guards from up here. This will not fill the base point if anyone's wondering at this point. There's no danger it would. Right, um, right, as far as we're aware, that's every Imperial minifigure I have. So I'm going to eat, I'm going to watch this video. And of course, I'll show you before I leave. So I don't know why I've got some vlogs, but I've just realised that night's your vlog. Ahem. <laughs> From yesterday, they might be missing some parts. At least it seems like it is. But, you know what, it's still there, so... This was the Imperial Army, so... I like what I got done here with the Royal Guards. The Royal Guards up here is kind of cool. Got Palpatine invaded these 2008 versions. Got some leadership in the back. Got some officers. And this one, my destroyed over there. So this is all kind of... This is not organised. It's all kind of the minifigures that don't all the kind of black gear. That one stands at that one of the old skin because it's from 2001 back when Michael didn't have flesh tones, but yeah, I think the most organization we have here might be with the uh, Astro Mechs and the Dark Troopers, but do you know what it was? It was just out of quickness. This section was easier to organize. Um, I, yeah, I have snow troop, I have a lot of snow troopers. Empire Strikes Back and Return of Jedi are my two favorite of the original trilogy. I do love it, I do hope though, but you know, um, I'm doing all right there. Um, but the two cores I really want to build up, I want to build up the Scout Troopers, these old versions, and I want more of these Storm Troopers, like these two rows here, 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 and you know, just maybe some of those Sand Troopers. One thing I have noticed, right, is I went on eBay a couple of minutes ago, and I had a little look at my regular sellers, and there's one seller I've been buying, well most of my army building comes from this one guy, because he sells so much stuff in bulk, all my clone Troopers, um, that you saw a couple of vlogs ago came from this particular seller and if you guys don't try shoot that's going to be getting ready. So well wait half a second. Right, this is no this is a good thing to shoot the go. Fuck it, I ripped the poster. Oh well. It was gonna have to come down eventually anyway. Um no storm whereas corn troopers are more just like do you know what it is? The core troopers, I feel like those go, go for more because more people are building those, but see the Empire, because we don't get as many, in recent years we've started to get a lot more cones, but Stormtroopers and Imperials have always had more sets, so the prices are a lot cheaper. So like, see, I, I did a video, maybe, you can actually see something, so like, I did a video, right, and it was a £200 clone army wall. Well, I didn't, I don't think I filmed it, but I thought I bought it. It was £200 worth of, you know, how much Lego clones can you get, that kind of thing. And I did pretty well, like, I think I got, mm, mm, I could, it depends how you spend it. I was to buy solely just phase one animated style clones. I could probably only have got about 30 or 40 for that kind of money. But I chose to throw in things like Shadow or not so much, I like Arc Troopers and stuff, so I raised the price, but I'm curious to see how many Storm Troopers, Snow Troopers, Sand Troopers, Scout Troopers I could get on that budget and it goes really far like surprisingly so, yeah it goes really far surprisingly so i don't know that might be something i do since i won't be buying sets really apart from battle packs after uh i buy clothes city which is still available six days to go well that'd be very dependent when you see if all this being filmed it's six days to go
Um, it's 21 minutes past the wrong way going before half past. So I can eat my cold so, um, I feel so sick, I always look so horrible. Um, hopefully this subsides at some point for the shift. Also, I'm really hoping it can be subsides in some way. <sighs> this is part 70. That's crazy. Do you know I know. I can't afford to name and title these so at some point I want to go back and know how many night shifts I've done but it would be impossible for me to know how many day shifts I've done because I didn't vlog every single wait I didn't vlog every single day of 2022 on the original channel um, but you know um, as far as like just in general I don't know how many day shifts I'll be curious to see there's, like, there's probably a couple hundred at least I mean at the very least, it must be around, you know, a couple hundred more, like, uh, God. I'm really looking forward to the shift. So I feel like I slept okay, but I can sleep ill, and that's probably not helping me at all. Oh, uh, my fucking nose back. <coughs> right, there we go. Get this on. Oh god, right. So I'm gonna meet my co-worker because what we've been doing is we've actually figured out the exact time to get us to work for night shift. Basically, I would just leave here at half seven and go stand over at Silverburn because you know, for the most part my night shift he wasn't even there. Like he joined like a couple of weeks before it got cancelled. But basically the method that we have is more or less um best way to describe the method. Uh, I go on his and it's like literally between 58 minutes past 7 and 5 minutes past 8 the bus comes all good to go. Right. Let me pack the kosher shrimp in the car. Right, hold on. Hey. It's not, as long as it doesn't get night we're all good. <laughs> if it does, I'll clip it in then. I like I've ever done a night shift or be like feeling this at all, so just need to power through it, it's an FM shift, that's the pain in the ass ones. <laughs> um, basically it's like all your food, your dog food, uh, dog treats, sweets, juice, um, cleaning, crisps. realise in between me just quite a mess is in about 20 minutes nearly. We can't say I didn't make these long because it's longer than the ones you were getting originally. I can't imagine any of them were that long because of the old phone's uh, storage capacity. Right. This one's at the kitchen and I'm going to go so listen, I'm just going to wrap this up here. I'll see you again from work. Or maybe before but probably not. No. This one will be a fun clip to talk about. Very, very interesting. So interesting, it feels like I've lost my fucking voice.
<coughs> I can feel more crap than before. <coughs> I feel like I'm going into my physical money. So. Not all of them, but the fact that I need to hold it five days. So, I'm going to now. Someone's gonna phone me with on their way to work, my friend. Right. So, I don't know if you want to call it the phone, but I feel really sick. You know, on the camera, it becomes obvious, but I had my boss told me to say, you know, you just got dug up at a fucking grave. Sick on a hog. I feel me being feeling that way made that shift. I'm gonna change my but me don't want to see me doing it. That me being sick made that shift feel so much worse than it was. Like it was an FM shift, we not all that kind of shit, but oh my god, I feel horrible the whole fucking night. Um it started off okay, but it's like the minute I went to go with things I figured or rather I found out I had absolutely no energy to move or lift anything whatsoever. Severe chest pains again, so I've got one thing that I want to do with next one. So just go in my bed, I'll do this again, one and sleep. Now, I'm not gonna be able to sleep for like six or seven, like I'd like to do. Um, I need to sleep till about kind of half three or four because someone's coming over, so yay. Now, one second, I'm gonna check. It's not that that person's come through, I'll be right back. Yeah, person's calling, just trying to get the one ready. Go to bed because I feel so, so fucked. Unbelievable. So, in case this cuts off again, because there will not be another clip added to this after it cuts off, I'll do the advent calendar <laughs> after I get up. So, let me fucking energy to do that. the TV on is background noise but once I get off the phone that's person it's straight to sleep because holy fuck I feel good see that's the big remote that's the fucking smiley one see that one I've made the comment before that even my mattress feels like shit. There's something nice about it. Uh, like, even though it's so shit, it still feels nice after like <coughs> after one hundred shifts, and I have like no energy, no drive, nothing. I just feel so fucking horrible. Um. Yeah. Uh, Head, like, see, as I was leaving the place, I felt my fucking hands. <coughs> <coughs> mm. Hopefully, this subsides after a couple of days. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be part 71. If I go in.